A printed circuit board's PCB is a rugged, copper and non-conductive substrate-based structure to connect electrical components. The PCB is the backbone of electrical devices, allowing you to connect passive, active and embedded devices together, into specific form factors to fit the design need. There are many high-tech techniques to print circuit board these days, but old methods are still in practice and also successful. Today we will learn to print or etch circuit board using toner transfer method. There are many complex tips, which will help you working with this process. So watch the video till end. So, let's start. First of all, design your circuit on your computer. Print the design on the glossy photo paper, keep in mind that print only in toner integrated printers. Inkjet or other printers will not work, you will get photo paper at any stationary shop. You can also print the design on magazine paper too. Now take the copper clad board which you want to etch. Link to buy is given in the description box below. Take the sanding paper and sand the copper surface thoroughly. This is done to remove the dirt and make a rough surface, so that toner would stick properly. Repeat the process till you get shiny rough surface, don't sand excess, or the copper film may get removed. After you have sanded the copper surface, wash it with normal soap or detergent. Now take the printed circuit design and cut the desired size which you need to etch. Take the copper clad board and the printed circuit design. Fix the design to the clad board as shown in the video. Now heat up your iron press and press the hot iron over the printed design. This process is done to transfer the printed toner to the clad board. As you may be knowing that toner melts when heated, so we will press it for about 3 to 5 minutes. Now take a vessel with water and soak the clad board for about 2 minutes. You can also directly peel off the paper without soaking in water. But soaking in water method is suitable for beginners. Here we are using plastic non-conductive vessel, in which we will etch the board later. Peel off the paper and wow! You will see the printed toner transferred to the copper surface. Rinse your hands smoothly and remove all extra paper at the board. You can see the printed design on the clad board. If there is extra space on your board, you can cut it out. Here we will cut out the remaining board, for that we are marking it with marker. Now we will inspect the circuit board for printing errors. There may be printing defects caused due to improper press or during peeling off the paper. If there is any error, correct it by drawing it by marker. We will take ferric chloride for etching. Link is given in description. Keep in mind that it is very dangerous for skins, eyes and breathing. Using of gloves and safety goggles are highly recommended. Now our board is ready for etching, we will take the non-conductive vessel. Plastic material is highly recommended, because metals may react with the chemical. Pour some distilled water in the vessel. 
You can also use normal water, but distilled water is a bit more reactive with ferric chloride. The water should be an adequate amount, so that the board fully get immersed in it. Now take some ferric chloride and add it in water. The ratio of water and ferric chloride should be 4 ratio 1. Due to chemical reaction, the solution will be heated. Don't be afraid. Mix the solution and immerse the printed circuit board on the solution. Add more water and ferric chloride if needed. Shake the vessel thoroughly till the reaction takes place. It will take about 5 to 10 minutes to fully etch according to the size of board and solution density. Kept shaking the vessel, shaking helps to etch fast. After 2 minutes, you can see the solution changing color, and the circuit board copper edges dissolving in it, kept shaking the vessel. Now you can see, the PCB is etched perfectly. We will wash it with water. And let it dry. The copper is dissolved in solution, but the toner is still printed on the board. To remove it, we will use circuit board cleaner, also known as thinner. You can also use nail polish remover. Clean the circuit board with help of cotton or cotton cloth. After cleaning, you will get your desired smooth finished printed circuit board. But it is not yet ready for installing the components. We will need to drill holes for soldering the components. For that, we are using hand drill. Link is given in the description box. You may also use electric drill. This video definitely deserves one like, in next video, we will try something different more interesting. Thank you for watching the video. Please show your love and affection by liking and commenting below. And if it was your first visit to our channel, make sure to subscribe for more interesting updates and projects. See you soon, till then, take care, goodbye.